Hi ladies, this is Carla. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's supposed to be in the 80s here today. Imagine that. Wow, we had good old thunderstorms yesterday. No warnings, just rattly thunder and pouring down rain all day. <laughs> and you know, believe it or not, that's the day I chose to get out and run an errand. Go figure. But anyway, I did get just a few little things and I wanted to share those with you. I went to Hobby Lobby. Um, I was looking for something for my daughter, but anyway, I ended up getting, well, I got a few things for the kiddos Easter baskets, and so I can't show those in case my granddaughter gets on here, but anyway, I did pick up some stickers, and I love these little stickers. I didn't find the ones I was hoping to find. They were all sold out. I waited too late, but I did find these, and I think these are just adorable. These are all... Oh gosh, I can't remember. Either I think these were 40% off. Most everything, I think, in the spring stuff is 40% off. Some of it may be 50, but these are adorable. Look at these little bunny things. What cute little embellishments those can be. Found these little Easter egg stickers. They're kind of puffy. And they, uh, you know, are kind of glittery. I don't know if you can see that. Got a little bit of glitter. Lots of cute colors in there. Kind of like that tie-dye look. Then I picked these up. These would be cute to decorate with. And they're also raised, kind of puffy, kind of shiny, kind of metallic. And these are just sweet little, little stickers. You could put those on eggs. You could put those on cards or, you know, little embellishments. Uh, you could even seal up a little envelope with those would be sweet. And then these are just little bitty ones. And I was thinking these might be small enough if you make bows, you know, you could put that little sticker instead of wrapping that little thing around there. You could just put that in the center of your little bow. Then these I thought were adorable. Some more little spring stickers, not necessarily Easter, although some could be used for Easter. But I just think they're cute little sweet spring stickers. Look at this little bunny on the bicycle. Oh, he's so sweet. Cute, cute. And then I picked up, this was the only bag of this particular kind they had left. So I like these little thicker kind of felt flowers that you can use to embellish with. So these are nice, bright spring colors. And these little cutie bunnies, look at that. So I picked those up. Uh, I'm thinking you get four of this design well two of this two of this and two of this and two of this and these are darling i love those and then i ventured off to the dollar tree now i hadn't planned on buying any more little tablets and things but these were such good colors this is kind of a uh, almost a fuchsia pink and so they're the smaller ones but I like that color. And then this bright blue, I got that. And I'm thinking craft fair with these. And then uh, this is kind of, well, maybe this is more the fuchsia. This is a, a pink, and then this is a really the bright, bright pink. This almost looks almost like um, it has more purple in it, but it is a pink. And then I picked up this yellow, I always call this schoolhouse yellow. I don't know why. Just the the color of the, the yellow on there, I don't know, reminds me of the top of a crayon box, I think. And so I got that because I'm thinking I got some ideas just for some little simple things for my craft fair. So we got those. And then at the Dollar Tree, um, I'm going to try this. I don't know. I needed a fine point gold pen. So it's a metallic marker. I'm gonna open that and just see how that works. For a dollar and a quarter, I thought, you know, I'll give that a shot. I've got others, but when I try to write with them or sign something, it's just, whoops, the tip is too large and it's really hard to make the letters legible. So I'm gonna grab a little, um, notepad here. Let's see. Let's tip it over like that. It's not white, but let's see. Oh, this has a little bit 
thicker tip. They call that a fine point. But um, we'll see. Let's see if I can. Well, it's not too bad. Now I need a white piece of paper so I can see just how that color works. Let's try it on here. Okay, this is scrap paper. Yeah, I like the color fine. Color's fine. It's a little bit metallic. But the, the tip is a little, little larger than I had hoped, but I'm sure I will use it. I'm sure I will use it. And let's see, what else did I get here? Oh, I know the last haul I did from Hobby Lobby, someone had mentioned that the Dollar Tree had these little foam uh, tabs, they call these. Uh, phone mounting tape and these were over in kind of the tool section these were not in the craft section in the craft section they have just the the tape that's not segmented into the little uh, peel off squares or triangle or rectangles whatever and uh, I like these I mean you get uh, I don't know if it tells you how many, but there's six feet of it. So you're getting quite a few for a dollar and a quarter. And the ones at um, Hobby Lobby, I know I think you got 288. It was a, probably a little bit larger, but it was also $4.99 a package. And I'm not sure if it was the 40% off or not. It was the pay per brand, if you recall. So anyway, that's a good deal. And I've been using lots of these lately. So I picked up a couple of those. And then I found um, this little ball of twine. They had their twine there. It's kind of a natural jute cord. And I like that natural look. So I'm thinking craft fair. So I picked up a little roll of that. And these I found um, in the baby section, and I am loving these. I picked up, gosh, how many packs of these did I get? Let's move this out of the way. These are favor boxes, and there's eight in a package, and for a dollar and a quarter, Gosh, I can think of all kinds of things to use these for, for craft fairs, you know. It would save you time and having to make the boxes, and you could decorate those with any theme you wanted for Christmas. I mean, just think of all the possibilities. Snowmen, reindeer, uh, wreaths, um, candy canes, uh, Santa Claus, you know, jingle bells. You could just go all out with this. And I'm going to open these and show you the size because I'm not real sure. But I got one, two, three, four, five. No, I got six. I was going to say, I thought I got six and just eight in the package. So that is uh, six times eight is 48. 48 of those. And when I make a craft, I usually try to make 10 of each. But if I do May Day baskets this year, I may go back and get more. I'll have to talk to my granddaughter and see if she wants to make some. But this would be great. And, you know, you can um, decorate these like you would if you were making a little treat bag. Okay. You, these would fold out. And they would be, let's see, like here and here. And then you've got that crease in the center. Okay, this is always kind of tricky for me. Okay, how do we do that? We go this way first, I think. And then we're going to come in here, and somehow we want to make this. Uh, do I want that to go? I want this to come. Um. <laughs> okay, let me look. No, I've, I've done these before. Now I'm having a hard time trying to think. You want this to go in, so we're going to fold this in. Let's fold this in, and then this should come up. There we go. And you're going to fold this like this. Get that in there. That's 
a little thicker over there. I'm just gonna fold this in to make our little crease. And this one, I'm, I'm going fast, so it may not be exactly right, but something like that. And then, that's not real good in there. I got a little bit off that. There we go. Now, and then we do the same thing over here. So what I did with that one, and that one's not folded exactly on that score line. Let's try to get that a little better first. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we're going to... I'm almost wondering if you would cut that, it would be easier, but we're not gonna do that right now. We'll just try it like this. And again, we want this to fold up. Okay, these are gonna go, this is gonna come up, and these are gonna go in. Okay, got this up. I'm getting off my score line there. There we go. Just kind of fold that one in over here. And let's fold this one in. It kind of does that. And then these, let's see. Oh, I see. I see. I think it just uh, slips in there. Let's fold on this score line. <clears throat> and I may do this totally different <laughs> in different order when I actually do it to see what it is I'm trying to do. And this goes, or maybe these are supposed to go in, are they? <clears throat> you think these are supposed to go in? Maybe. Or out. No, that's right. Like that. And then this would come here. These little flaps need to come down like so. And we fold it up in there. And this would somehow, somehow this is going to fit. Oh, I bet this goes in first. <laughs> we'll get this. Okay, this is my first time playing with it, so... Like I said, I may do it totally different next time. Oh, I want this under here, I think. I think. And then this is going to flip in there. And I'm going to come in here. Kind of hope that flap stays in there and push this down. I'm not real sure I've got my points going the right direction. I think I do. Let's see if we can get this to fold up. Well, this may be a little bit of a challenge. Is that right? I'm not sure I have the sides right. I'm thinking they may need to go in. This may need to go in. Let's try it. Poking this. No, that's not right either. Well, I tell you what. When I get ready to make my little things with these. I think it will be cute. I'm going to have to figure out for sure how I do this bottom and get it together. But but look at that. Isn't that cute? I mean, if we get it figured out, that would be darling. It actually reminds me of some things I made last year to make, uh, you know, put a snowman face on it or different things. So I think that will be cute. Like I said, I'll have to figure out that bottom. That I know that's not right. So anyway, that's my little haul today. I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have, give me a little thumbs up. And now I'm going to get ready and make some little Easter goodies. Thank you for watching. And if you liked it, please hit that little like button. Until next time. Bye-bye. Well, I just couldn't sign off until I figured this out. And I figured it out. And ladies, it's really not that difficult. I was just trying to make it more difficult than it was. What you're going to do is these sides definitely go in. And this little crease definitely comes out. Then where you've got this little flap and this little flap here, 
what you're going to do is this larger flap, you want to go ahead and put some glue on that. Okay, we're going to glue that and we're going to just simply take this, fold it down, and these outside flaps, we're going to come in here and glue those down, okay? Pretty simple, actually. And I'm going to lay it flat so I can come in here with my bone folder and make sure I've got that glue on that tab mashed down so it is sticking because that's basically what you have to do. Just glue those on and, uh, oops, let's see. That one's up a little higher. There, just glue them on here. And then you're going to have this little slit right there that, and I know that's not dry yet. When I try to push that in there, it's probably going to pop out. But you're just simply going to take that after that's dry and just slip that down in there. And how simple is that? Might be easier. What I did was I had folded this in this crease, and that made it a little more difficult to get it to go flat. But after you get that glued on there, I'm going to come in here again and just mash that down. And there you've got your cute little treat box, and you can decorate that any way you want. You know, you can take measurements and layer up some fronts and put a little decoration on there. You could wrap ribbon around these little handles or tie them together. Just lots of little things you could do with that. Anyway, a simple way to make a little gift box. So, got that figured out. Thank you for watching again and join me next time for my next little haul or my next little project. See you next time. Bye-bye.